There are a few different ways of answering this question. I'm going to show you what I feel is the easiest technique. Um, but if you've got a different technique, you get the same answer, then stick with it. Um, this question will all be about multipliers and understanding how to use them. But the difficulty in this question is we're finding out how long it will take um, to get to a certain point, um, which is a big twist in this question, and we're not given a quantity. Now, whenever you're not given a quantity, one method of being able to do it is by putting in your own quantity. And the easiest quantity to put in is the number 100. So I'm going to pretend that the population of the town at the start is 100. Now, this question, as I said, is all about multipliers. So we need to figure out what a decrease of 6.5% as a multiplier is. And to do multiplier, you start off with 100%. You do whatever the question is saying, so this time we're decreasing by 6.5%. And this will be on the calculator paper, so you might as well use your calculator to do 100 take away 6.5, and hopefully the answer is 93.5%. And to convert it into a multiplier, just divide by 100. You're just converting it to a decimal, but the uh, paper will call it a multiplier. That would be 0.935. So whenever I time something by 0.935, I've decreased it by 6.5%. Okay, so we've got our 100. And what I want to do is figure out how many times I need to multiply it by 0.935. Okay, so there's a power here which we don't know yet. To get the answer um, that is less than... 47% of it. Well, the reason I pick 100 um, as my uh, quantity I've made up is because 100 is nice and easy because 47% of 100 is 47. So we need it to be less than 47. Now, what I do on my calculator is I type in 100 and I times by 0 0.935 and I get the answer of um, 93.5. Now, what I'm going to do now, and that's one time, what I'm going to do now is press answer times 0 0.935. And what that will do is allow me to go through um, this same calculation as many times as I want by just pressing the equals button. So I'm going to press the equals button once, and I get the answer of 87.42. So I've done twice in total so far, and I can leave a little tally mark here. I press it again, and I get 81.7. Again, 76.4. Again, 71.4. Again, 66.8. Again, 62.4. So I'm getting closer. Again, 58.4. Again, 54.6. Again, 51. I'm getting close, again, 47.7, so I'm getting very, very close, but I'm not quite there yet. And I press it one more time, and I get 44.6. So in total, I've done it 12 times. Now, I'll, I'll always want to check that, because my counting is not necessarily the best when under pressure. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do 100 times 0.935 to the power of 12, to check that I've got this right. So 100 times 0.935 to the power of 12, and I get 44 point, so 44.64. And I'm just going to check that that was uh, the first time it went under. So I'm going to do to the power of 11. And what I can do is just use just scroll through my working out on the calculator and change the 12 to 11, and press equal, and that's 47.74 or blah blah blah. Okay, and each of these are rounded. Okay, so it's going to take 12 years because 11 years gets us close but not quite over the line. It's the 12th year that it dips below 47%. Now, as I said, there are different methods. You don't need to include the 100 uh, as a made-up value. Um, what you can do is just look at the multiplier and wait until the multiplier is 0 0.47 or below, or sorry, below 0.47. Um, and the multiplier would go down to 0 0.4464, blah, 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 blah. And that's an absolutely fine method. Um, and there are other ways of doing divisions, which I'm not going to go into because you don't need to go that far. Um, because when you hit A level, there's a much, much better way of doing it. But we don't go through it at GCSE. 
Um, if you wanted to look into it, it's to do with logarithms. But we won't go into that. 